in a St. Patrick's Day. And of course, we are cooking the most delectable St. Patrick's Day meals in the Expresso Kitchen. Chef Char joining us this morning. How are you, brother? I'm extremely cool, well, as always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we are making box tea. I've box tea. Boxy, in what is just boxy? a potato pancake. I mean, really, we are talking sort of peasant-style food. I mean, it is one of the yeah. only ingredients that sort of ever sort of surfaced. That's the good out of Ireland at the end of the day. Nice. It's good old standard potato and just something very simple. So this is all down to about texture and sort of combinations yeah. that really work together. So Lovely. what I've got here is I've got some mashed potato. Now, I've got fairly coarse, a little bit of milk, a little bit of butter in there earlier on. That's all that we need to do. Okay. And then to that, what I'm going to do is add some grated potato. Some grated. So this is where the sort of, it, it differs from sort of a hash brown that you might be familiar with. It's just grated potato. That's this has got the mashed potato, so this wonderful sort of silky smooth creaminess to it. Okay. And then you're going to have the grated potato. It's going to add a little bit of sort of... texture. Absolutely. And we're going to be adding that into there. So well, I've got no two doubt. potatoes. No doubt it'll be delicious. Of course, you can try your hand at making box tea on St. Patrick's Day. Our lovely Irish potato potato pancakes, SMS the keyword potato to 33728, that's potato to 33728, we'll send you the shopping list and a link to the recipe if you would like to follow that, and uh, just uh, keep in mind that SMSs do cost 1 Rand 50 and free SMSs don't apply, but very, very easy recipe to make, just like Chef Charles Absolutely. is showing us. Now, what you want to do is here, the drier this is, the better, so okay. the mash, you're not going to see it's a sloppy wet mash there yeah. at all, so, so take your grater there, the squeeze it up, as much as and you if can. you can get into the kitchen and do some work now please, what, and, what do I need um, to do? Can you mix just... the potato please? Okay. So the grated potato as well as the mash in there. I'm going to add all that into there. Brilliant. So you can see that wonderful sort of combination that we, we're going to have all there. Now, again, this is, remember, you're going to cook potato and then raw potato. So you're yes. going to get this wonderful sort of texture, but you want everything sort of perfectly cooked at the same time. All right. So to that, what are we going to add? Well, we're going to add in some milk. Okay. So it's going to sort of slacken the, the mixture very slightly, That's as it. well as an egg. Now, the egg is going to act as a binding property to all this. So it's just going to sort of hold it all together That's when it. we fry, fry this off. But of course, you want to make sure with the milk that you don't put too much egg. Absolutely. Okay. Well, if it is too much, you've got a little bit of extra flour to go into here. So flour okay. into there as well. And that's going to sort of also yeah, help bind on. it and hold everything together. And then always a good, generous pinch of seasoning as well. Just pop that straight into there. Nice. And get all that seasoned up. And it's as simple as that. All and right. it's going into a bit of black pepper. Oh, um, yes. That's way around. Way. There we go. There we Sorry. go. You gadgets, news gizmos. <laughs> <laughs> some, we will get wrong some, some I was confused the first time we used that. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I'm sure they put theirs at Jimmy. Right, there we go. So that's into there, beautifully nice. seasoned, and that's it. Very simple, you can very see it's easy. A very nice texture, the smoothness of the uh, mash, and then and the roughness of the potato. The creaminess potato. as well. That's it. Right. So to actually start cooking, what we're going to start doing is okay. you've got this pan onto heat there, that's and it. a little bit of butter in there as well, just to start that melting around. that as we go. And then up to you. You can sort of just lump it in there. You can take a bit of a mould. So you've got a bit of a okay. cup mould here if you so wish as well. And all you need to do is just take a spoonful of that and pop that in there. Now, nice. leave it alone. Allow it to create that the okay. actual seal between the, the actual box tea itself yeah. and the pan. Don't try and sort of move it now because it's going to sort of fall over the place. Control your heat. Regulate your heat yourself there. If you find it, it's too hot, yeah. Then remove it. Remember those, like, okay. you know, gas is great because you can turn it down That's and the it. heat instantly drops. Whereas something like your um, yeah, electric, yeah. you know, rather have it really hot and then take your pan off okay. or put it and back then on it like that. And then control it like that. Don't sit there again five, four, three, <laughs> you know, it doesn't really work. Yeah, you'll end up with a disaster in the kitchen. Absolutely. Okay. If it's hot enough, it'll move, come away from the, the pan, you know, from the pan straight away. That's it. So just leave that on the side there. As I said, don't move it too much and you'll start seeing changing colour up the sides okay, as before you, go. you flip it over. Absolutely. And all you need to do flip it over and then just keep it into a warm oven about 150 degrees, just sort of, you know, yeah. the low temperature and it just sort of warms, finishes cooking oh, all the way through. Wow. And then when you've got your big batch, you know, take them out and there's just so many different toppings we can put together. Absolutely with it. amazing. I'll tell you what, so while we finish this one off, if you would like the recipe, you can email us recipes at expressoshow.com. Our chefs will answer you and send you everything you need to know. But if you've missed any of these steps, here's a quick look back for our box tea. Boil two potatoes, drain, then mash with milk. Grate two potatoes, season, then leave to drain. Squeeze moisture out of grated potatoes, then combine with the mash. Add the egg, milk, flour, salt, and pepper, then mix. Heat a pan, add butter, then fry a quarter cup full of mixture to form the cakes. Cook until golden on each side, and for the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword potato to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. SMS cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs and T's and C's apply. 
there you have it. Now you know exactly how to make your own box tea or uh, Irish potato, potato cakes. pancakes. Well, yeah. There we go. See how it all sort of holds together? Nice. You've got a nice bit of coloration on there, colorless flavor as well. And then just to finish this off, you can do what you wish. I want a little bit of wonderful creme fraiche, yes. a bit of cream cheese, whatever you want mm. in the fridge there. You know, put some lovely dollops of that yeah. all over the warmth of the actual potato. Whoops, and it just disappeared there. You know, sort of <laughs> melt through. Oh, nice. oh you know fantastic. what I love about this dish? It's so simple. Well, you want it's to keep it simple. And that's what I love. I love simple food. But Irish food all over the world a, over. That's a thing, yeah. You know, it's simplicity. It's using really good quality ingredients and just keep putting together. I've got a little salmon that's going to go on the oh, top here wow. as well, just to sort of, you know, you have that wonderful sort of salty smokiness coming through. On there, I mean, just keep laying it up as you go, and then go on some wonderful fresh watercress with that wonderful sort of pepperiness as well. And look at that! And then just sort of keep just going, just keep adding, layering that together. It doesn't even look simple there. anymore. I know what, I don't, in fact, when I was talking about uh, this last week about yeah. trying to find a wonderful Irish recipe, a friend said to me, you know, make a box tea, sort of you know, of yeah. Irish descent there. And he said, you know, your steak and Guinness pie instead of you know having your normal steak and Guinness pie. Take the inside, the mixture, the filling, and pop that on top of your box tea as well. Easy and as go. that. Charles, thank you so much, man. This absolute looks absolutely delicious. What a breakfast. There oh, you have a indeed. traditional Irish meal right here. But to Ooh. finish this one off, we have some traditional Irish music for you to play out of your feel good show.